Welcome to the spoken tutorial on designing printed circuit board using OSCAD. In this tutorial, you will learn to create netlist for printed circuit board that is PCB from a schematic, map footprints to components and generate PCB layout. In this tutorial, we will create the PCB layout of an RC circuit. The following sequence will be adopted. We will first create a new project. We will import and modify the RC circuit schematic file created in the tutorial Schematic Creation and Simulation using OSCAD. Finally, we will create the PCB layout for the RC circuit. Here we will use Ubuntu Linux 12.04 and OSCAD version 1.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to create a circuit schematic using OSCAD. If not, please visit our website and watch the relevant tutorial. You should also have the RC circuit project files created in that tutorial. Launch OSCAD by doing the following. Open the terminal window, type OSCAD and press enter. OSCAD project window opens up. Click on the project tab and choose new. Browse to the desired folder. Click on OK. In the enter project name field, type RC underscore PCB. Please note that the file names are case sensitive. Click on OK. Click on the schematic editor tool from the OSCAD toolbar. In the info dialog box that appears, click on OK. Let me minimize the OSCAD window. Let us import the RC circuit schematic by doing the following. Go to the file menu and click on open. Browse to the RC project folder. Select rc.sch and click on open. Click on close. Let us now save this schematic in a new project folder rc underscore pcb. To do so, go to the file menu and click on save current sheet as. Browse to the folder rc underscore pcb. Rename the file as rc underscore pcb. Click on save. It is required that the name of the schematic file should match the name of the project. This is why we rename the schematic file. Now this schematic is linked to the new project rc underscore pcb. Some changes need to be made in the schematic to make it ready for pcb design. Let me zoom in. The plot components and sign source were added for simulation. They are not needed for PCB design. Let us delete them by clicking on them and pressing the delete key. Let us add a 2 pin connector to the schematic. This is added so that an external voltage source can be connected to the PCB. To add it, place the component CONN underscore 2 on the editor. Rotate it twice and move it as shown. Connect it to the circuit using wires as shown. Annotate the schematic by clicking on Annotate Schematic button from the menu bar. Click on Annotation. Click on OK. Click on Close. To check for electric rules, click on Perform Electric Rules Check from the menu bar. Click on Test ARC. You can see there are no errors. Click on Close. Let us generate netlist for PCB. To do so, click on Generate Netlist button from the menu bar. Click on the button Netlist under the PCB New tab. Click on Save to save the netlist. It has a .NET extension. Close the schematic editor. Click on Yes to save the schematic. Now we will assign footprints to each of the components in the schematic. To do so, click on Footprint Editor from the OSCAD toolbar. This launches the Footprint Editor window. Click on OK to close the Component Library Error window. The list of components in the netlist is shown on the left. On the right, you will see a list of all available footprints for the chosen component. Let us first assign footprint to capacitor C1. For this, select C1 from the list on the left side. Now double click on C1 from the list on the right. 
To view the footprint assigned to C1, select C1 and choose View Selected Footprint from the menu bar. A new window opens up displaying the footprint. Let us now view a 3D image of this footprint. To do so, click on 3D display button from the menu bar. This is a top view in 3D. Click on the footprint and drag the view up or down as shown. Close the 3D viewer window. Close the footprint viewer window. Now select the next component P1. Scroll down the list on the right and double click on SIL-2 to choose it. SIL-2 is a suitable footprint for the 2-pin connector P1. Similarly, choose the footprint R3 for the register R1. Now go to the menu bar and click on Save Netlist and Footprint Files button. We will use this netlist to design the PCB layout. Close the Footprint Editor window. Now let us create the PCB layout. Click on Layout Editor from the OSCAD toolbar. This will open the Layout Editor tool. Click on OK to close this dialog box. Let me minimize the OSCAD project window. Now we will import the netlist that has footprint mapping. To do so, go to the menu bar and click on Read Netlist. Click on Browse Netlist Files. Browse to the project folder. Select the netlist file rc underscore pcb.net. Click on Open. Click on Read Current Netlist. Click on Close. Click on Yes to save the configuration. Note that the component footprints are placed at the top left corner of the layout editor window. To get a proper view, we have to zoom in. Place the cursor near the top left corner. Zoom in by pressing F1 key. Zoom out by pressing F2 key. You can also use the scroll button of your mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Let us now place the footprint modules to the center of the layout editor window. For this, I have to maximize the window. Click on Mode Footprint Manual and Automatic Move and Place Modules button from the menu bar. Place the cursor near the center of the window. Right click and choose Globe Move and Place. Choose Move All Modules. Click on Yes. Now let me restore this window. Now you can see that the modules are at the center. Zoom in. This is the current placement of components. Rotate the connector P1. To do so, place the cursor on top of P1 and press the key R. To move it, place the cursor on P1 and press M. Similarly, move the footprint C1 as shown. Click on Design Rules from the menu bar. Click on First Option Design Rules. Double click on the track width field as shown. Type 0 0.8 and press enter. Similarly, other design rules can be edited if required. Click on OK. Note that the OK button is not fully visible. This is because I am not recording the entire screen and this window cannot be resized. Now let us start drawing the tracks. The layer pane on the right shows a list of layers. Select the layer back by clicking on it. To draw tracks, click on Add Tracks and Bias button from the toolbar on the right. Click on one terminal of R1. Move the cursor down and double click on the left terminal of C1. A track is formed. Similarly, draw the remaining tracks as shown. To draw PCB edges, Click on PCB underscore edges from the layer pane on the right side. Click on add graphic line or polygon button from the right toolbar. Click on top left corner of layout as shown. Draw the PCB edge by moving cursor horizontally to the right. Click once to change the orientation. Draw the edges as shown. Double click to finish the edges. Click on Perform Design Rules Check from the menu bar to check for design rules. Click on Start DRC. There are no errors. Click on OK. 
click on save board from the menu bar to save the layout. To generate Gerber files, click on file from the top menu bar. Click on plot. Choose Gerber as the plot format and click on plot. Gerber files are created in the project folder. Click on close. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to create netlist for PCB layout, map footprints to components, lay tracks and create the PCB layout. Here is an assignment for you. Watch the KiCad tutorials on PCB design available on our website. Reproduce the layout of a stable multivibrator created there using OSCAD. OSCAD uses KiCad for PCB layout creation. Footprint editor in OSCAD is the same as CPCB in KiCad. Similarly, Layout Editor in OSCAD is PCB new in KiCad. So the procedure to create PCB layout in OSCAD will be similar to that of KiCad. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. Hope you found this tutorial useful. This is Rupak and Rakhi from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.